Hey everybody, Jeremy here, aka Mitsurugi W. Um, here to make a video for you today. And what this video is about is uh, the CD that I created and compiled to uh, for use with the Super BIOS. Um, if you're a collector like me and you collect CPS3, you've come across the no CD carts. And um, sometimes you get a no CD cart, but you don't have the motherboard with it where the sims are written. Or if you have a no CD system or setup that Maybe a sim has failed or something like that, and you need to rewrite it. Well, with the no CD cart, as you know, you can't rewrite the data from a, from a disk. There's no rewrite option on that no CD cart. So what I've done is I created this disk that works with a Super BIOS cart, which I have right here. This cart's been converted to DarkSoft Super BIOS. And uh, the CD works with that, and the, the cartridge will allow you to write all that data back to the motherboard so that you can use your working no CD cart. Um, and the way it works is all the data that's on the CD is the original Capcom code for the games. We're just tricking the, the um, motherboard into writing that data back to you using the Super BIOS cart. Um, so, let me show you here. I'm going to use my super gun setup because it's a little easier to uh, show the, the steps with the PCB. So there I have my PCB and my super gun with the super BIOS cart. And we're just going to show you on my TV here. Let me go ahead and boot it up. As you know, you hit the one player start button to go into dark soft menu. That's the first thing we're going to do. Boom. This is where we're going to work from. Now, I have two no CD cartridges that I'm going to show you. I've got a new generation, an Asian no CD cartridge, uh, and uh, also a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Japanese no CD cartridge. I'm going to show you both of these and the steps because they're slightly different for each one. Now, if you want to write the no CD version of Third Strike, either revision A or B, and you'll do this for every game. You go down to rewrite new game for whichever game you want to write, and it brings up the list. Now, every one of these games had a no CD cartridge in some region. At least one region had a no CD cartridge for every game. So that's why I included them all. Um, let's just say you want Third Strike A or B, you would select Third Strike A or B, and all you would have to do is just rewrite it, the game. And then when it's done, it'll go to the region select. If you were to hit select a region, it would just crash because the Super BIOS can't run the original code. All you would have to do if it was Third Strike is write it, cut it off, put the no CD cartridge in, boot it back up, and it'll per play perfectly fine. Now, for all the other games, we're either going to have to remove a sim or tell the Super BIOS to write a 32 megabyte sim, like for example for JoJo's Venture and New Generation, we're gonna write another sim for those. And I'll go over those steps here. Um, first I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do something, one of the easier ones, which is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now all we're gonna do to write this game is, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna select JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I'm gonna select that. And it's gonna start writing. It's gonna check the CD. It's gonna start writing it just like it normally would any other game. Now, the original JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uses um, 64 megabit sims in slot one and two, and 128 in slot three, four, and five. Now, that's the same as Second Impact. So all we would do, if we're gonna write this game, it's gonna take 30, 45 minutes, just like it normally does. But then for these two games, all we have to do is cut the power off, remove the sim from slot six that we need to boot up uh, the Super BIOS, and then we'll replace it with the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cart power up, and it's gonna boot. It's gonna play just normal with the correct number of sims. So I'm going to go ahead and let this write, and I'm going to come back when it's done writing. All 
All right, so we're back. Um, it's finished rewriting uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, it's going to do one of two things, depending on which uh, Super BIOS cart you use. The CD I made um, is based off the off the the standard SH2, meaning the custom SH2 has been swapped for a standard. Um, if you write it using that cartridge, it's going to go to the region select screen immediately after it finishes uh, writing. In that case, you'll just you'll just cut it off there because it won't be able to write the code, uh, or it won't be able to run the code. Or if you're using the custom version of the SH2 Super BIOS, it's going to just error out as soon as it gets to 99%. It's going to error out. It's going to say um, it's going to say could not rewrite games. Call Capcom. Blah blah blah. In that case, just cut it off, and then you're going to do the, this next step. Now, like I said before, if it was third strike, you wouldn't touch anything. However, since we did Jodo's Bizarre Adventure, um, let's see, let's see if I can show you here a little better. Zoom out a little bit. Jodo's Bizarre Adventure used these two 64 megabit sims and only used three of the 128s. Well, for Third Strike and for the Super BIOS, you need to have the four 128 megabit sims. So all we need to do, since we're only gonna be running the original code, um, and we're using an original cart. Let me remove this cart here. Remove the cartridge. The Super BIOS cartridge. I'm also going to remove... Let me set this down for a second. Sorry, guys. I'm going to remove Sim 6. We're not going to need this sim for uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Then I'm going to take JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cartridge. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And let me back this up a little bit so you can see the system, the motherboard, and the TV at the same time. All right. I'm going to go ahead and power her up. As you can see, it boots right into the game with the no CD, working battery powered, no CD card. So now we've just restored our motherboard for use with a no CD JoJo's Bizarre Adventure card. <coughs> the next thing I'm gonna do, when I come back, I'm gonna show you the same steps with um, a new generation. And in that case, we're gonna have to program an additional SIM afterwards, so. Be right back in a few minutes. All right, back again. So this time I'm going to boot it up and we're going to prepare it for new generation. So I'm going to power it up just like the last time. I'm going to hold the start button, get in the dark sauce menu. All right, so we're in the menu now. Zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to select the rewrite new game just as before but this time I'm gonna go ahead and select Street Fighter 3 new generation which is already on so I just hit shot one so it's gonna rewrite All right, and we're not gonna sit here for 45 minutes while this happens, so I'm gonna leave and I'll come back again soon. Be right back. Okay, we're back here. New Generation's about to finish writing. And what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna write a 32 megabit SIM using the utility program on the cartridge. Alright, so as you can see, I wrote that using the uh, standard SH2 cart with the standard SH2 CD that I based the, um, that my utility CD is based off of. So after it finished writing, it went to this um, region select screen. And I'm just going to show you if I hit a region, it's just going to crash. And I'll just show you that. So 
point, so it, it crashed, it froze up. Um, if you were using the uh, custom SH2, or the, yeah, that custom SH2 version, it would give you an error before you even got to this screen. You would just cut the system off, which is what we're going to do right now. Now leave your Super BIOS cart in there. I have a spare 32 megabit SIM right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in slot 7. The one slot that isn't used by any game but we can still use it in the utility. So there we are, I've got it in there. I'm gonna boot up again. I'm gonna go back into the menu. Now, here's where things get a little more in depth. I'm gonna go to the disk and files, number two there, disk and files. I'm going to select that and it's going to open up the volume of the CD and you can see all those directories there um, and they all correlate with um, all the games that are up there. We're going to go to let's see, we're going to go all the way down to the directory that says extra right there. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Extra and we're going to open that directory up. Alright, now I see right now there's three files in there. I'll zoom in on that again. Three files. There's 50JO, 50NG, and 50WZ. Those files are what we're writing to the 32 megabit sims for each of those games. You're going to use the same process for uh, New Generation, JoJo's Venture, and Warzard. So, since we just did New Generation, I'm going to select the 50ng file. Let me zoom out so you can see this. All right. I'm going to select that file. And as you can see, this other menu pops up. We're going to select number two. All right, zoom in a little bit here. We're going to select number two, right to flash memory. Now it's going to bring up a list of all the sims we have in there. It tells you whether it's a Fujitsu or the Sharp um, sim. There's two different types of sims. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to 8, which is Sim 7. And we're going to hit Shot 1. It's going to highlight the 0 in the offset down there. We're going to leave that at 0 and hit Shot 1 again. Alright, and if I zoom out a little bit, you can see where it says down in the corner erasing sim 7 and as soon as it's finished erasing it's gonna start it's gonna start writing the chip and only take a few seconds all right so there you go now what's gonna happen is when it finishes uh, writing this sim it's just going to go back to the the directory that had the three files in it and this is going to take a few minutes so I'm going to exit and come back okay so as you can see it finished writing the sim and it came back to the disk and files directory so now what we're going to do is we're going to power down and we're going to remove all the unnecessary sims and replace a 32 megabit sim where it goes so I'm going to put down here I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on all right all right so the first thing I need to do is come over here I'm going to power down I'm going to remove this cart so you can kind of see what I'm doing now new generation only used new generation and Warzord only used 164 megabit sim in slot 1 228 megabit sims in um, slots three and four, and then slot five was the 32 megabit sim. Now you could leave 128 megabit sim in there if you want, and it will work. But any collector in, the, in today's market knows these 128 megabit sims are like gold, so we don't want to waste them. We'll use it for another PCB or whatever. So let's go ahead and start removing these. I'm going to remove the 32 megabit sim first, and I'm going to set it to the side because we're about to install it back in again. And right, then I'm going to remove slot 
uh, seven slot six. I'm gonna put it over here because we're not gonna use it on this PCB anymore. I'm gonna remove slot five. Set it off to the side. Now I'm gonna replace that 32 megabit SIM that we programmed in slot seven. I'm gonna replace it in slot five. All right, and I'm also gonna remove the 64 megabit SIM from slot two because new generation does not use it. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I got my Asia version, no CD uh, security card here for new generation. And to prove that it's gonna run no CD, I'm gonna disconnect the cables for the CD drive. All right, there's no CD drive attached anymore. It's just the, just the motherboard as you can see right here. I'm going to place this cartridge in, and when I zoom out, you're going to see it boots. All right, set it right there. And there you have it, Street Fighter 3 No CD Asia version. Like I said, that process is the same for um, JoJo's Venture, uh, New Generation, and Warzone. The only difference with this last one is that you would keep the second 64 megabit SIM in slot two because JoJo's Venture uses that. So but that's the only difference. And that's how you use the CD. Um, so any of you collectors out there with no CD cartridges, we, we now don't have to worry anymore about our sims becoming corrupted. We can always rewrite them using the very versatile Darksoft SuperBIOS. Um, this is one of many things that the SuperBIOS will be able to do in the future. Just trust me on that and stay tuned. Alright, thank you for watching. Sit, Kishi. Sit. Good dog.